Hello everyone, time for another virtual freight dog flight. I received a request to do a flight to three different airports. Only one of them I have an air hauler base for and that is the Corfu airport. And another request that I also received is if I would be able to show how I get the best out of Pro ATC when it comes to getting assigned the correct runway for the wind conditions. So. To start off, I'll show you the BFPX. I already have planned this flight in beforehand, just to see that both of the aer airports have seats and stars. Because one thing that I have noticed is that if you want to get assigned the correct runway, make sure that both your departure and your destination airport have procedures in place. If there are uh, no procedures or only vectoring, procedures available at the airports. The current version of Pro ATC doesn't do a very good job with these, but hopefully we'll get to see an update for Pro ATC in the near future. And hopefully the fix will uh, include support for requesting runways. Okay, so when using Pro ATC, the planning part of the uh, flight becomes very, very important. I have found that if you want to get the best out of Pro ATC, you should use real-world routes. So, let me show you where I search for my uh, routes. Uh, usually when I'm flying in, in the United States, it's quite easy. You just head on over to flightaware.com. Let's see, let's say that I want to do a flight from, uh, where would I want to go? say from San Francisco to San Diego uh, you're, you're presented with flights that are real real world flights let's say I'm flying an Airbus today so I'll choose Virgin America flight and here you can see the whole flight plan as they would fly it or as they have filed it in the real world and this would be offshore 7 departure then Mackie then an LAX and on to Bayview 3 arrival so things are uh, quite good when you're flying in the US and Canada but when you're flying in Europe uh, the flight aware currently doesn't provide you with the routes for the flight and for that I'm using Euro flight plan or eurofbl.eu site and they have a route finder that is very good and let's begin today's planning the flight that I'm going to do is from Limnos to Kerkira which is Corfu airport distance 246 nautical miles and we are carrying what are we carrying today? Furniture. Okay, so the departure airport is Lima Golf Lima Mike and the arrival is Lima Golf Kilo Romeo. So oh, over to the route finder I'll enter Lima Golf Lima Mike. Destination airport was Lima Golf Kilo Romeo and now I'll usually just hit search. What I could do also is input a flight level if I get, let's see what the results are. Okay, so we got two good results. There's an ATR flying the route and a Boeing 737-800 is also flying the route. As uh, today an Airbus was closest to the closest to the origin airport so I'm going to do Airbus A320 flight. I personally like this flight plan as it has the flight level at 300 which is quite good for the flight. So here is a route that we could use by entering it into BFPX and let me do that just now. I'll take a copy of that Head on to PFPX. 
I'll add a new flight. Today we are Fin Cargo. And let's make up a flight number. Exactly 7 AM Zulu, so I'll s set flight number to 07. We are flying from Lima Kilo, Lima Mike. And the destination is Lima Golf Kilo Romeo. It'll take me about an hour at least to set up this flight for so I'll set the standard departure time to 8.15 Zulu. And for the aircraft I'll choose an Airbus 320. I'm not sure if you can see this but I have a um, different profile for um, flying in uh, pounds and using kilograms. So as an uh, air hauler likes to use uh, pounds, I'll choose the Airbus A320 that, is ha that has been configured to use pounds. Okay, now I have the flight set up. Now it's time to plan the flight. So I'll go over and click on plan. And the next thing I'll do is check the weather. This affects what kind of takeoff will be given and what kind of departure procedures. So at our origin airport Limnos, no winds at all, Cavake. At our destination Corfu, we have winds from 150 at 4 knots. That's quite unfortunate because there's only a visual approach for runway 17. And this might cause problems with Pro ATC. But let's hope for the best and see what happens. What I would do now is check the maps. I have uh, the origin and destination set up in Flight Sim Commander. What I noticed first is that PFPX is saying that takeoff is due to left, as there is only one runway in FSX. Okay, so it's same in flight sim commander. It's saying two to left and zero four right, even though there is only one runway left at the airport. Let me just update the weather quickly. And while uh, flight sim commander is loading, I'll also load the weather in FS Global Real Weather. Dynamic weather, most current weather, and now both programs are loading the weather information. And okay, Pro ATC is loaded. I'll come back to setting up Pro ATC after I've done with BFBX planning. So now we have the latest weather weather in Flight Sim Commander. It is saying that winds are calm, no wind direction information available. And what we have at FS Global real weather. Okay, it, it is stuck. While I'm here, I'll check the destination weather also. So the same information we had uh, on PFPX winds from 150 at 4 knots. There's a nice weather indication at Flight Sim Commander where you can see the wi wind direction. So the winds are from 150. It means they are blowing from this direction and the winds are coming from this direction and blowing to the northerly direction. And this is why runway 17 is in use. You look at the where the arrow is pointing and you should be flying towards the arrow. So as the winds are coming from 150 going this way, we'll be landing this way. So we can get a nice headwind. So runway 17 is more than likely in use. Okay, now we have FS Global Real Weather and I'll check the weather information here also. Lima Golf, Lima Mike, no winds, good visibility, no clouds. So all the programs match currently. Lima Golf, Kilo, Rome Kilo Romeo, that's Corfu, and also winds from 150 at 4 knots. Okay, that is good to know that all the programs 
match. <coughs> and now it's time to plan the route in PFPX. Well, not quite. <laughs> Sorry about that. What I have to do first is uh, PFPX likes, likes to do things in logical steps. The first step is to figure out the payload. I'll click the random payload and we got 35 tons. We don't need that much. It was we should only be carrying 4,000 4, pounds of cargo today. That is extremely low amount for an Airbus A320, but that was the that was the aircraft that was nearest to the departure airport. So I'll set up cargo, let's say 1,000 pounds, and let's put in 10 passengers. Let's see what comes up. 2,000, so not enough. I'll set up 25 passengers. Okay, that's a bit more. Now we are getting 5,800 pounds. Now, here's a uh, cool trick that I learned by accident. Um, air hauler uses pounds, but the Aerosoft's Airbus uses kilograms. So what I'll now do is I have the identical profiles for the Airbus one in pounds and one in kilograms. I'll now choose the one in kilograms. So there we go. Now we have the payload in kilograms. Now quick find route. This is what you usually would do with PFPX. Okay now looking at this this seems to be a happy accident we are getting exactly the same route as the route finder gave us. Usually um, my luck isn't this good. Yeah, look at this. Yeah, you can see it here. We get we got the exact same route as from the fly route finder. And one cool th thing about the route finder is that all of these rou routes should pass the route validation. So when I now click validate in the PFPX menu, you get the flight plan laid out. Now validate it. And no errors. Very good. Uh, usually my, as I said, usually my luck isn't that good. The auto planner in PFPX does a good job it, for creating routes, but usually they don't pass Euro control flight plan validation process. So this is why I usually go over to Euro flight plan route finder as it creates uh, valid routes for you. Also one good place to look for valid routes is on V route. So let's check out what V route gives us. That is Lima Golf Lima Mike and on to Lima Golf Kilo Romeo. And let's search. Um, <laughs> wouldn't you know it, another happy accident. We got the very exact same routes as from Euro flight plan. And now as we we have the route that we want to use available in V route you can click the show button. And a cool feature about V route is that you get to look at the weather. So the weather is calm at departure airport as mentioned before. Now we can choose a drop, drop down menu and this is where you can see what uh, seats are available for which runway. So as we are departing north, northeast, I will be hoping for a runway 22 left departure and that gives us better to Bravo departure. And for the arrival, we have winds from 140, as mentioned before, that means runway. Okay, now, cool thing. Now I can see that these stars are for runway 3535, all runways 3535. So the most likely for our flight will be uh, Yankee November, Nem November 1 Papa, as it will also cover runway 17. Okay, let's see that. And now you can see also the map is updating. It updated the route. And let's see what PFPX chose. PFP PFPX on its own chose Peretu Bravo departure. 
same as the one I've chosen and uh, Yankee November November one Papa and it's the same one so BFBX did an excellent excellent job on uh, finding us the route so whether or no TAMS have a K, I will only plan for one alternate with minimum time. And now I'll click Find Destination Alternates. Okay, they are now updated. And I'll let BFBX choose my first alternate airport. Now I'll click Compute Flight. And there we go. We should now have the route planned. Here are the details. Release fuel will, will be 5 tons and the payload is 2.6 tons in kilograms and that should match the 5,000 pounds of cargo that we are delivering. And on the flight plan we can see the route here. Now the next thing I'll do is release the flight. Now the flight is released. I'll export it to FSX so I can then import it into electronic flight bag. And it, it has been exported. There we go. Then I'll print the flight plan. As I don't have a printer, I'll use Bullzip to print this out. So it was Lima Golf Lima Mike on to Lima Golf Kilo Romeo. And here is the flight plan. Good. The next thing I will do is set up the flight in BF <coughs> uh, Pro ATCX. So Pro ATCX, and just to make sure, I'll do this every time. I'll create a flight from scratch, so there will be no historic data conflicting with our current weather and so, so on. Um, one thing I'll show is my options for weather. Uh, I used to use only the NOAA weather, but this is no longer working in Pro ATCX due to a, cha a small change that was made by the NOAA in their data format. So I'm using VATSIM weather. Uh, Pro ATC and FS Global Real Weather does a very good job in matching the real world conditions. So my absolute most pr preference would be to use uh, NOA weather, but it's currently not working in Pro ATC. So I'm using Vatsim and I'm downloading meters and tabs in 10 minutes intervals. Okay, and let's see other options. Do I have something of any interest? Always assign waypoints is disabled. Try to assign runway most according to wind heading. That is checked. Assign shortest seat star procedure. That is disabled. Display direction to runway via course needle. Disabled. Manual descent initialization. Disabled and download waypoint elevation data. Uh, that is a somewhat u useful uh, feature that will give an estimate for Pro ATC on the terrain elevation around the uh, airports. Cheap GPS flight plans. I do not want to create F6 flight plans from uh, Pro ATCX and I do not want them to be loaded automatically. It has caused uh, crashes for a lot of users as far as I know. Add seat and transact 
uh, transitions manually to the FMS. Yes, I would like to do that. And for the co-pilot, I only have the co-pilot contacting controllers uh, when airborne, and also uh, confirming instructions from automatically confirming instructions from ATC. And he is also uh, serving the common nav radios. And I all also have changed the in-flight key configuration as it was conflicting with the pushback directions and whatnot. So I have Control Shift plus the number I want to use. Okay, now we get to creating the flight plan in Pro ATCX. What I'll do is take the route from the BFBX flight plan. Now, important thing, you do not include the seats and stars during the import and you do not uh, include any speed or uh, altitude information when you are importing the data into uh, Pro ATCX. So let's skip over the speed and uh, flight, uh, flight level info, let's skip the seat procedure and let's choose only the route part. Now copy and we'll also skip the star information. Then to Pro ATCX, flight plan, import flight plan from copy and paste. Here we go. Now all I have to do is enter the origin airport, Lima Golf, Lima Mike, and also the destination, Lima Golf, Kilo, Rom Kilo Romeo and choose import. And there we go. It, it looks uh, quite the same as, as before. Now, let's go over from top to bottom. I'm using an Airbus. There is only a profile for A319 in BFBX on I army mean Pro ATCX, so I'm using that one. Our flight number will be Fingargo 07. As there is no Fingargo available in Pro ATCX, I'm using Finair instead. Then, we are departing from Limnos. Parking 1. Let's see what kind of parking position we want. So over to Limnos and zoom in. We have a couple of good ones. Let's see what... This is GA aircraft. Do we have anything bigger? GA small. GA medium, GA medium, so I'll choose the GA medium, I mean GA large, parking 13, and we do not need a uh, takeoff alternate, our destination is Corfu, and let's choose a gate. Now I'm at Corfu, What's, what looks suitable. Let's see if we could make the um, ro landing from this direction, so... Uh, let's see what that is. Mil car military cargo. As we are a cargo flight, I'll choose gate 7. And gate 7. There we go. And our prime net alternate. Our primate alternate for today is Lima Golf India Oscar. Select. And what is the distance? The distance to our alternate is 14 nautical miles. Let's see if this, this is causing problems with Pro ATCX. Let's say 5. It's 10. Must have ILS. Let's uncheck that and now we can find. So our alternate airport doesn't have an ILS. So not a problem. We'll choose Lima Golf India Oscar. Select as primary. And there we go. Now, um, even though I've just created the flight plan, what I tend to do is toggle between UTC and local time just to make sure that we are getting the correct departure time. So 8.20 UTC, how is that? I've never, <laughs> to be honest, I've never checked that how do they match 
current time is 7.24, so an hour away is the departure time currently. In. And now I'll click the weather button just to see that we get the correct weather. And very good, we have the same weather as during the whole planning stage. So winds calm and winds from 140 and that means runway 17 arrival. Okay, now we know that all the programs are receiving the exact same weather and that is good. And for the cruising altitude let's see what PFPX calculated. I bet it calculated a very high altitude. Yes, it calculated three <laughs> flight level 380 which is f way way too high so let me go back. Um, there's a good rule of thumb for planning alco results replan. A good rule of thumb is the your flight plan distance as the maximum altitude or your aircraft's maximum flight level. So even though our Airbus, Airbus can climb to fl uh, flight level 380 we will not be using it today. Um, the flight plan distance is 310 nautical miles and we are flying from east to west so we should use even flight levels. So as we saw in the uh, Euro flight plan route finder a Boeing 737-800 has flown the route with flight level 300 so that sounds a bit better for me than the flight level 380 that VFBX had calculated so in the initial cruise altitude I'll set 300 and now I'll compute the flight so from this line you can see that uh, we are burning a bit more fuel than if we would go climb all the way up to flight level 380 but then the descent and the top of descent and top of climb would be too near each other so I've chosen flight level based on the rule of thumb that maximum flight level is either the your flight plan distance in nautical miles or your aircraft's maximum cruising altitude, whichever is the lowest of the two. Okay, now I'll release the flight again. Yes. I'll export it again as we've changed the flight level. There we go. And also I'll print it once more. Okay, there we have it. What I was about to do in PFPX, I mean Pro ATCX, is input the flight level and the speed. And here we have them. Speed is 461 knots, and our flight level is 300. So, out comes. Pro ATCX, I'll choose cruising level, flight level 300, and the cruising speed was 460. And I'll set the descent rate to auto. Now, what Pro ATC has done when I imported the flight plan is it has pre selected SID and STAR for this flight. When I'm flying in Europe, you do not file a SID or a star usually. Only when you're flying in US you are expected to file the departure procedure and also the arrival procedure. But as we are flying in Europe I will not touch these two selections. I will expect a pro ATC to assign them to me during clearance and also during approach. So I'll leave them as they are. Okay now we have the flight set up. Now I can click save. And there we have it. Now we have the Pro ATC setup completed. We have uh, printed out the flight plan and we have planned for everything that is needed for the flight. So I'll start sh uh, shutting down programs just to free up some memory from my laptop. And I'll even close Pro ATC bu 
but before I close ProHTC one thing that I al almost forgot to do was send the data of this flight over to Topcat so time to do that now so as Topcat is loading I'll show you our plan here is the takeoff weight 48.9 tons and landing weight 46.5 tons and now the PFP extra Topcat data transfer has completed I'll check the takeoff page and here it says takeoff weight 48.9 tons on the plan 48.9 tons landing weight in Topcat 46.5 and on the plan 46.5 so saves a lot of typing let's go that that now concludes the planning part now I'm off to uh, getting the flight uh, prepped up and ready to go so over to uh, FSX